Thank you for supporting the work that I'm doing. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you. From the get-go, I knew I liked neuro, I knew I liked cancer, and I wanted to marry the two together. So my research focuses on looking at glioblastoma multiform. I really liked doing cancer papers and neuroscience papers. I was just lucky enough to find a supervisor and a project that linked both cancer and neuroscience together. I am a brain imaging scientist, so a lot of my work focuses on taking pictures of people's brains and then seeing what those pictures can tell me about health and disease. My research predominantly focused on understanding how um, stem cells and the immune system play a role in promoting um, glioblastoma. I'm really fascinated about how changes in our DNA can cause or influence how we grow and develop. I'm studying microcephaly, which is when children have brains that haven't grown to a normal size. The research that I'm doing is taking that angle where how is the brain influencing the growth of the tumour and their resistance to current treatments. I'm really interested in neurological conditions with a developmental component. I take skin cells from patients with Huntington's disease and turn them into neurons for studying. I've been running my own lab for the last 19 years. We take skin cells from patients with neurological diseases to actually make brain cells so we can actually study that. And so my group's research is really looking at aspects of how the brain and the immune system talk to each other and get on with each other. I always say that you need to be creative to be a scientist. You definitely have to be passionate about the subject. You really need to have a drive. You need to really have a reason that is beyond you. Determination. You need resilience, uh, passion, and uh, actually a sense of humour. You need to really love it. The Neurological Foundation is a national treasure, really, and it needs to be recognised for how much it's done and what it's done over that period. And none of it, absolutely none of it, would be achievable without uh, the dollars that are given by the public. The donors that have supported the Neurological Foundation really have made my career. It's a very humbling experience um, to know that there are people out there supporting what we do. Without donations into this research, we, we couldn't do it. It's as simple as that. It's very motivating to keep going and to think that someone believes in this research and someone is investing. Without their money we wouldn't be doing this research and that is the reality of science is that we really do need um, funders to, and donors to help us out. It opens up so many doors. You know, experiments planned out and, and everything to figure out what this disease is and how to solve it. Um, but you can't actually do anything until you've got the resources. It allows you to expand and express your ideas. You learn the next step forward. Um, and that really, the funding allows that to happen. I don't think any of, any, any of us take that for granted. Feeling a sense of responsibility to actually produce something useful and interesting and helpful. And I think that's one of the reasons why we are in research. It's because we would like to make a difference. And we really do realise that the generosity of people makes what we do possible. The bigger picture is hopefully in my lifetime see this disease actually treatable. The reason we do this uh, is to be able to provide hope that there's work being done and I think that's really important. We're never going to stop um, having children that have these sorts of rare disorders that I study. So it's about giving those to the families as much information as possible, you know, to help them. To better the lives of people with neurological diseases, that to me will be a great achievement. A better outcome for the patients, that's what I want to see, that's my dream. Together we're stronger, I think. So that's really my message. Thank you for your support. It really changes the way that we can do our research. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you.